What's up, Brad Dade and Johnson, and um, as you see by the title, I'm doing a video that I asked how and which way you wanted me to do the video. And um, based on the responses I got, I'm kind of going, I'm not going to go as full on as I was going to, because I was going to get numerical with it, but I am going to try and go through every aspect from a kind of an outside into an inside out approach as best I can. Um, I'm kind of happy I don't want to do too much, too long a video on this really as well, because one, it's boring, and two, um, I want to do other videos, other videos I've got to do that are more important than this foolishness. Anyway, first of all, the initial claim by the media. Let's go to the media first. The media says, here's an article. And the article says, healthy food three times more expensive than junk food, right? So you see that and you're like, whoa. Now, if you go to the study, whilst the study actually technically purports that as a view, what it actually was studying is the comparative price difference between healthy food now and junk food now to healthy food 10 years ago and junk food then. Or 12 years ago, it doesn't matter. So basically it's charting the difference, the comparative change in junk food to healthy food, um, we'll get into that in a second, um, prices between 10 years ago and now, saying that it's ten times, three times more expensive to eat healthy now, whereas before it wasn't as, expen as, as expensive comparatively then. So, the first problem with, with this as a, in terms of media, if we're looking from outside in from a, a big perspective is, this is why you should be careful with the things that you read. Because you should never forget, you know, read newspaper, whatever, keep up to date in the world, check the BBC, watch whatever news, but never ever forget when you are paying attention to any form of news media, they are not there to inform you of shit. They are there to entertain you. In the same way Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is, in the same way that Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is, in the same way that Transformers is every one of these things they're just there to entertain you they're there to say hey what are you doing something else come do this for a bit and then you do that and in doing that they get paid for it that's the point of news yeah don't ever forget that and it doesn't mean what well, everything they write is bullshit or oh it's a conspiracy or don't go crazy it just means that primarily if they don't get your attention with the things that they're, they're telling you they failed so the first most important thing is get your attention yeah so they do that title which gets your attention it's like whoa and the person they're aiming that article at is all you little bitches out there, yeah? All you little bitches that are like, oh, I knew it, I knew it. That's why I can't do it. That's why I can't lose weight because the healthy food is so expensive. Ah, oh, let me read this. Then you get started reading, you start reading the article and you realise you're not really good with math. You kind of skim it and generally you're like, yeah, I knew it. Cambridge, that's a good school. Yeah, there's smart motherfuckers at that place. I agree. Yeah, three times more expensive. I might as well just quit now because I ain't even got much money. I can't afford to eat healthy. So there you go. That's, that's the person they're aiming for, little bitches, right? Are you a little bitch? Anyway, moving on. That's their article. So what, forget their article. They do go into it afterwards. You know, there's no lies in it. They do go into it. But I would like to look at it from a different perspective. And this is the problem with interpretation, right? As it must be done at some point. If you look at the price, and we're going to get into the word healthy in a minute. So if you're waiting for that, I'm going to get there. If you look at the price of healthy food in two, 100 years ago and say, okay, it costs this much to eat healthy. And then sweets and cakes and, you know, Junk food costs this much to eat them. And you're like, okay, that costs that much, that costs that much. Okay, interesting. And then you move forward a whole chunk of time and you go, okay, look at the healthy food now. And look at the, um, the junk food now. The healthy food is far more expensive compared to the junk food now than it was back then. That's one way of interpreting it. The other way of interpreting it is, wow, the junk food is far cheaper in comparison to the healthy food than it was before. That is a benefit. You get cheaper, quicker meals. The junk food has got this big, you know, oh, stigma attached to it. Oh, junk food is terrible. Junk food is just food that has been prepared for you, that has gone through more, more processes. That's what it is. When you go into the kitchen and you cook something up yourself, 
you are doing processes to it. If you take an egg and that egg becomes an omelette or that egg becomes um, with some bread, an egg sandwich, or that egg becomes part of a spaghetti carbonara, all you're doing is taking these raw ingredients and putting them through processes. The fact that someone else does these processes for you or another company does them for you does not inherently make those processes a negative thing. They just charge you for the benefit of doing so, right? So if whatever junk food you eat, it will always be more extent expensive than its literal ingredients. That is, that will always be the case, which is part of the inherent flaw of this study. If you take, go to McDonald's and you order a burger and fries, if you went home and made a burger and fries yourself, it would be cheaper because they had to do processes that they charged you for, for you to have it in the end. So that's the first thing you should understand, which again, gets to that word of healthy, but we will get there soon. But what this study sh sh could have been, and the study didn't give any, it, it used a good tagline, healthy food is more expensive, it makes it, it makes it more exciting for people to read, because obviously the study wants to be read as well. But the study never assigned any emotion to this or any negative implication, it just studied it. And all they found is that junk food is comparatively cheaper now than it was 10 years ago. All that means is, it's a scientific achievement. It means we've been able to, perform processes on foodstuffs and create food in the end that is cheaper because the processes are becoming cheaper. The more processes you place onto an, a piece of equipment, a piece of a material to receive an end product in the end, the more expensive it gets. But at the same time, the more processes you allow for technology to improve and make cheaper. If that confuses you, I'll explain it in a different way. The way in which we get eggs is practically the same now to the way it's always been. There have been slight improvements, but really it's only one process. It's there's a chicken, there's an egg, right? That's, now they can improve them by batching the chickens together, science that they can genetically modify the chickens to do all these things and whatever. They can do all this stuff and it could make it cheaper, yeah? You can argue all of that stuff. That's, that's for another video that I would never do because it's boring as fuck. Um, yeah, that's another video. So. You can do that, that's, and you can make it slightly cheaper comparatively, and that stuff has been done. There are processes that go from getting a chicken to making an egg that have made getting eggs slightly cheaper. But that's nowhere near as much cheaper as you can make the process of getting, say, 10 ingredients, processing them and cooking them into a, a, another set of ingredients and putting them together to make, say, a chicken tikka masala and rice microwave meal, packaging it in plastic and getting it to the shelves of your local Tesco for you to buy. Those processes, there are so many of them that technology, email, um, the internet, d delivery, refrigeration, things like all these, all these processes have been subject to improvement in technology over time, which means the process of creating this junk food is cheaper now. They've become cheaper and it's a scientific achievement. It's something to be proud of. It's a good thing. Energy is good. It's a good thing. And with that said, that's just two, two ways of interpreting the exact same data. It's, oh no, healthy food is more expensive. Or it's, oh great, cheaper food is even cheaper. Or ready-made food, sorry, is even cheaper. So, that's the first thing.